Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that. We have Rivian down 10%, so it's interesting. We have other EV vehicles to talk about in this video, so we're going to talk about the five top electric vehicle stocks to own in 2022. So make sure you stay throughout this entire video because we're going to be going over a bunch of different EV stocks with some detail as well. Now we see Rivian stock down 17% in the past week and 24% in the past month. We even saw them at around $130 per share um, earlier last month, but their all-time high was $172, all right? So they're nearly down 50% from their all-time high, which was a lot of hype. And if you guys have been following this channel for a long time now, then you know that we've been talking about Rivian as a stock that you want to stay away from right now because the hype about a uh, Rivian stock is unreal. It's basically has an $87 billion market cap all off hype. And in my opinion, that's going to shrink closer to a 50 to $60 billion market cap or smaller. So in my opinion, we can still see some downward momentum on Rivian right now. It's a hundred dollars per share. I think it's not a bad time to start your position in Rivian, especially if you're a long-term holder and you plan on holding for like two years, three years or five years. Buying under $100 per share, dollar cost averaging, not buying a lot or heavy right now could be a good um, idea. However, I'm personally not buying yet. I want it closer to around $75 per share or even $60 per share before I even start my position. All right, just to go over a summary of Rivian's EV growth is extremely pricey. Rivian's third quarter earnings sheet showed that the valuation is ahead of the production reality. The current price is not attractive and indicates significant overvalue. Shares of Rivian Automotive plunge after the EV startup submitted its first earnings card as a public uh, company last week. Despite the near 50% drop in price from all-time highs, which we were talking about, Rivian still remains overvalued. Because Rivian is still ramping up production and the valuation is very pricey, the risk profile is skewed to the downside. The first earnings sheet is a public company. The first earnings they have, Rivian is a relatively new electric vehicle company and the only came to the market in November. Rivian listed on the stock market though an initial public offering IPO, not a merger or a SPAC or anything like that. Um, SPACs companies, also known to be Blig check companies, have also been popular in the electric vehicle industry with firms like Fisker, EVgo and Lucid. We'll be talking about Lucid um, in this video, but we'll also maybe talk about Fisker and uh, EVgo in a future video and some other EV stocks. So make sure that you comment below what other EV vehicles you want me to go over. The EV vehicle a maker offered 150 million shares at $78 and then quickly saw its market capitalization soar over 140 billion, which was twice the price of the original uh, the original IPO price or evaluation. Rivian's IPO also was one of the largest IPOs of 2021. The initial public offering raised 13 billion in gross proceeds for the firm, which makes Rivian one of the best capitalized. EV vehicle companies in the industry. While Rivian's IPO was a success for early investors like Amazon and Ford, the EV maker only recently started to make deliveries and has a long production wrap ahead of it. Remember, Amazon and Ford invested when Rivian was like a five billion or lower market cap and they easily 10x their money on investing, all right? Rivian produces two all electric vehicles models, the R1T and the R1S. The R1T, a pickup truck that just days ago won the 2022 Motor Trend Truck of the Year Award from the Motor Trend Publications is being delivered for reservation holders since September. Concerns about Rivian's production timeline and the firm's large third quarter loss explain Rivian's 10% drop in price on Friday which was just the last trading day, Friday. Today's video is obviously filmed on Sunday. Rivian is investing heavily into the ramp of its production capacity and will not be profitable anytime soon. Rivian factory in Illinois has a capacity to produce 150,000 electric vehicles annually, but plans to make an additional investment to grow an annual factory output of 200,000 EV, EV vehicles for the long term, which is good for long-term investors to know. 
investments in the production ramp cost a lot of money it is for this reason chiefly that rivian will continue to post material losses in the foreseeable future in the third quarter rivian's operation generated a loss of 1.2 billion which is huge showing a 4.3 x factor increase over the third quarter in the year earlier period revenues were just 1 million but they will ramp up significantly for next year and especially into 2023 so remember if you have a long-term mindset then you know buying around 100 dollars per share probably isn't the worst thing in the world for rivian but i'm sure you can get a lot better of a deal if you're just patient rivian's revenue potential correspond to the firm's capacity to scale production and ramp up deliveries i believe rivian could produce around and deliver 300,000 R1T slash R1S electric vehicles in the fiscal year 2022 and 50,000 EVs by the fiscal year 2023, which is a very slow ramp up. And that's literally over the next two years. Keep in mind, they're only going to be delivering around 50,000. We'll combine over the next two years around 80,000 EV deliveries over the next two years, which is extremely sl slow. And these numbers are even after the upgraded projection of, pro of production for Rivian because of my stronger pre-order numbers disclosed last week. Using my refreshed EV estimates and assuming an average sales price of $70,000 per electric vehicle, Rivian is looking at a potential revenues of $2.1 billion in fiscal year 2022 and $3.5 billion in fiscal year 2023. All right. So this next part's important and it's wrapping it up using the fiscal year 2022 projected sales of 2.1 billion. We can calculate a price to sales ratio of 40 of 40 X. Wow. 40, 40 X PS ratio. That's twice the sale, the twice the PS ratio of Tesla. Wow. And Tesla is arguably overvalued as well. So let that sink in. After initial excitement, shares of Rivian faded off their highs. Shares of Rivian are almost down 50% from the post IPO high, which is around $180. But the electric vehicle uh, maker is still overvalued at 40x revenues. And I'm not going to be jumping in anytime to buy soon. So there you have Rivian. If you were wondering about Rivian, I hope that was a good detailed explanation. We also have, by the way, a volume of 44 million, which is enormous. So we will start to see that volume fall to 30 million, 20 million, even lower than 15 million, in my opinion. And that's really when we'll start to see Rivian stock uh, start di dipping. Now, I'm also considering to trade options with this one and do like a February 18th or even a March 18th or even a January 28th, somewhere in that ballpark and actually buying a put. Right. Instead of buying a call, I would be considered buying a put. Now, these ones are a little bit more expensive. Keep in mind, we'll be doing an option video probably later on this week. So make sure you're subscribed if you want more option content as well. Now, these ones are a little bit cheaper, but January 28th also might be a little bit cheaper to look at some puts. But you probably need around eight hundred dollars minimum to consider doing some puts on Rivian. All right. Now, after that, we have Tesla at $932 per share currently. And in the last one month, we see them down 15%. All right, remember they were around $1,200 per share earlier at their all time high. In the last three months, however, uh, just at a three month support, we saw them at $734. So you kind of have to think, you know, what happened in the last three months that put them from $734 per share all the way to $1,200 per share. You know, what fundamentally happened? Are they delivering more cars? You know, so that's some good homework for you guys to look into. In the last three months, you know, why did they go from 750 to 1200? Is it just hype? You know, is there a possibility that we can see Tesla around 750 to $650 per share once again? I do think so personally. However, I have an average cost of $983. I think anything under $1,000 per share is a great entry for uh, Tesla personally. And I'm also reoccurring by around 200, uh, or excuse me, around $20 per day into Tesla, no matter what the price is.
All right, so we have a summary. ARK Invest continues to sell shares of the electric vehicle company Tesla. Weight in the top fund is now below 7.7%. Lack of purchasing for undervalued stocks is telling. When it comes to electric vehicle makers Tesla, one of the biggest and most vocal bulls in recent year has been Kathy Wood. The leader of ARK Investment Management has been all over various financial medias preaching her love for the company and its stock. However, despite all the positive sentiment, her firm has been selling Tesla shares in massive amounts recently. So it's interesting to see Kathy Wood starting to sell some of her Tesla shares. And she's at the lowest that the, the ARC has been because Tesla's always been a leader in her fund. So it's interesting to see that. Also, we see Elon Musk selling his Tesla shares. Obviously, that could be for different reasons. But obviously, he's still selling. So we could see a push to $750 on Tesla, in my opinion. Must stock sells are smart because EV unlikely to stay hot investment in 2022. All right. So I want to keep you guys privy to some of this information. Obviously, if you're a bull on electric vehicles, it's always good to read articles like this so you can just see the risks or just, you know, what other people are thinking and if it has any value as well. So Loop Ventures analyst Gene Munster said Wednesday that the timing of Elon Musk's sale on Tesla stock was quite judicious because electric vehicles were unlikely to show the same investor appeal in 2022 as they did in 2021. And remember, you know, some people know Elon Musk as the smartest man in the world. And it, Kathy Woods as one of the smartest women in the world when it comes to the stock market investing. And keep in mind, they're both selling Tesla stock right now. So here's something interesting to consider. Speaking to the CNBC, the Loop Ventures managing partner explained that investing themes rarely carry over from one year to the next, meaning that the spectacular performance of Tesla and other electric vehicles shown in 2021 was unlikely to repeat the next year. It is rare that a theme that goes vertical in one year goes vertical in the next year, he said. When I think of investing themes for 2022, it's unlikely that the EV space has the same vertical move. Shares of Tesla have come under pressure lately as Musk has been forced to make a series of large stock sales in order to pay taxes. Munster noted the dynamics of institutional investing made it difficult for investing themes to carry over from one year to the next. Since fund managers are pegged to annual performance, they tend to hit that reset bar once the calendar turns, he said. On the EV space in general, Munster predicts further upside for Tesla, even acknowledging the likelihood that the sector will see less enthusiasm in 2022. He still thinks that uh, Tesla is going to perform just as well. He maintained his $2,500 price target for Musk's EV maker, and I'm assuming that's in the next 12 months, which would be over 100% gain. All right, so it'll be interesting if you guys want to do some homework, see what his, what is his timeline on that $2,500 price target. However, Munster took a more cautious view of other players in the space. Specifically, he characterized the high valuation of Rivian as a head scratcher, which we already talked about in this video. Tesla rallied to an all-time high peak of $1,243 in early November, briefly joining the $1 trillion market cap club in the process. However, in part weighed down by Musk stock sale, shares have drifted onto their new recent highs. Now, personally, that $2,500 price target, I think that would probably take two to three years for Tesla. But in my opinion, it will definitely happen. Tesla rallied, we already talked about, Tuesday represented Tesla's lowest close since late October, more than 20% off its highs. Tesla has also dipped below the $1 trillion market cap, which we already talked about. Tesla has already come off its peak when Rivian went public in mid-November. Since its first close, Rivian has significantly outperformed Tesla as this comparison of Rivian and Tesla stock shows, Gene Munster isn't the only one who thinks that uh, Musk's sales of Tesla stocks are smart. Liberty Media chairman John M Malone believes that the current stock market resembles the dot-com bubbles 
of the late 1990s. So that might be interesting and you might want to do some research on that. And you can definitely expect a future video on that. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see a future video on that. And one analyst calculates that the EV market will never be large enough to support Tesla, Rivian, Fisker, and many, many others. All right, so that was Tesla in a nutshell. I hope you guys liked that um, deep dive into Tesla, even though we could have went a little bit deeper looking at revenue, deliveries, income, statements, balance sheets, which we'll save for a future video because this video is getting extremely long, but it'll be interesting to see if Tesla can get below that $800 mark and if I we can well I personally can buy some shares for long term because I love to load up the boat on Tesla right around $500 to $700 per share anywhere in that bar ballpark and obviously the closer it gets to $550 per share or $600 per share that's the heaviest I'm going to be buying for sure for the long term. And lastly, let's talk about Lucid Group LCID, which is also another hype stock that we need to talk about. Now, in another video, I do want to talk about like Neo and XPEV and EVGO and Fisker and Ford and many, many other EV vehicles. So comment which ones are the top ones that you want to see the most. The most requested ones will get mentioned in videos first. So Lucid is down 15% in the past month, keep in mind. In the last three months, it's up 81%. So if you guys have been in the mar a market for over three months, you remember that huge rally that Lucid had, all right? It was basically at a standstill for almost a year from March 8th to October um, 22nd, probably closer to six or eight months. I'm not gonna do the math on the spot. So what we saw when it first IPO'd, it was around $10.00 per share okay and then we saw the huge hype train and we saw about a 500 percent increase on lucid and then what did we see after that it basically fell off a cliff all the way down to two 24 dollars 22 dollars per share recovered slowly basically did nothing for a lot of months going up and down we swing traded this one a lot in between the eight months because it was setting that support right around 17 dollars and it went back up to that $27, $28 mark. Then recently, we just saw it shoot up to around $50 per share once again, hitting that resistance that we saw in February at the beginning of the year. All right, so that's a big resistance for Lucid. And the last resistance, you know, was around $30, $28 per share. So for all we know, that can definitely turn into the next support. However, there looks like there's a support challenging around $36 per share here. And we also have the support around $36 on December night that, that it recently went to. So personally, I want to be buying under $35 per share and even under $30 per share. Closer to $28 per share is where I'm going to be really loading up on Lucid, in my opinion, between $28 and like 30, $31 per share, $32 per share. I think it's a good sweet spot for Lucid for long-term investing, by the way. Now we'll see a summary. It says Lucid has most recently come out as the top EV market as a serious potential competitor to Tesla. And I think they are one of Tesla's highest competitors because they are a US-based American, all um, electric vehicle, no gas cars at all, play just like Tesla. The company has some extremely optimistic plans for the future and a bucket load of cash to carry out those plans, which is important. They beat out both Tesla and Porsche for the Motor Trend Car of the Year. Lucid stock has the potential to exhibit high growth in the future and is definitely a buy on my list. Lucid Group LCID has recently developed a strong reputation as an electric EV vehicle manufacturer. It's moving quickly to position itself as a market leader through a differentiated product line. Despite not having a strong enough income statement right now, the company has a hefty cash of $4.8 billion on its books, which is a good balance sheet which it t intends to develop and boost its production line. Lucid CEO and CTO Rawlinson has an impressive resume under whose leadership the company has delivered upon all the promises that it's made. Lucid has several advantages over Tesla, such as range and horsepower in their respective highest end models that make it a compelling competitor. Despite having significant pre-orders 
and solid prospects, Lucid is valued at less than 10% of Tesla's market cap, which is an interesting to think. They've also probably delivered around 10% or less of Tesla's vehicles, and they're probably doing 10% or less of Tesla's revenue and income, so keep that in mind also. For those reasons, Lucid is my favorite EV play at the moment, which I definitely do not agree with. Background information. Lucid was formed by Peter Rawlinson and Derek Jenkins, who previously acted as the vice president and engineering at Tesla. If you guys didn't know, they had the vice president of Tesla and the head of engineering of Tesla. So Lucid is basically like an extension of Tesla. They stole like all Tesla's plans and that's how they have such, you know, the head of engineering, the guys basically making the Teslas moved over to Lucid and the vice president of Tesla moved over to Lucid as well, which is really, really interesting to think about. And they also have the head of design at Mazda. Wow, that's that's really crazy to think about. They're, you know, that's just a, a recipe for success, basically. So in my opinion, that is a recipe for success, and that is why I want to load up the, on them closer to that $30 mark, okay? North America, respectively. Um, Lucid's IPO de debuted in July through a SPAC, and uh, blah, 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 and the IPO resulted in the company accumulating $4.4 billion in cash, which it plans to invest in its ambitious expansion plans. PIF currently owns around 62% of the company's stock, which is currently be trading at around $53 per share and has a market cap of over $87 billion. So that is interesting to know that PIF does own around 62% of the company's stock. They could do a huge sellout, which they probably won't do, keep in mind, but there's always that risk. Product differences. Tesla has long been hailed as the market leader of the king of EVs without any proper competition, but the recent launch of successive Lucid vehicles lay forth a bold statement. Here's a quick comparison of some key areas and performance. Price, the Lucid Air Dream, the most expensive high-end model of car, is about 170 k Tesla's high-end car is about 130 k Range, this is likely the most important spec listed here, which I agree with. I own a Tesla myself, and range anxiety is the worst. The longest range Lucid Air trouts 520 miles of range, which would give me personally a reason to buy it. And the longest a Tesla, the best one they have in Tesla is 375 miles. Horsepower, um, again, Lucid beats them by around 100 horsepower. Charging, this is where I think Tesla really shines because they have such a huge network. You basically can't even drive 20 miles without running into a Tesla charger. So this is where Lucid's really gonna have to step it up. Lucid built-in bi-directional Wonderbox battery chargers make Lucid Air compatible of adding 300 miles in just 20 minutes and up to 20 miles in one minute when connected to a DC fast charging network, which is definitely a game changer and in my opinion, if those become very widespread and ubiquitous and you can find them anywhere, I'll probably be buying a, t uh, a Lucid in the future. You know, if you can charge 300 miles in 20 minutes, that's definitely a game changer. You can even get 20 miles in one minute. The This is slightly faster than the 200 miles in 15 minutes offered by Tesla super, Supercharging Network. So guys, that's wrapping up the video. Just to recap on Lucid, you know, I wouldn't mind buying under $40 per share if you plan on holding for two years or longer because I definitely think their stock will be higher in the next two years. However, I still think that we can get closer to under $35 per share is a lot better of an entry, especially if you're a shorter term trader, if you don't want to hold for long term. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I didn't want to drag it on too long because you know these videos can get a little bit lengthy. So smash that like button if you like these detailed videos. Comment below what EV stocks you want me to talk about next. And if you wanna get on my close friends list for the daily stock market, that's definitely a game changer because you can see anytime I buy a stock, what stock I'm buying, how much of the stock I'm buying, how long I plan on holding, when I'm selling. I put all this information in my close friends list on Instagram. So if you're an Instagram user, it's very beneficial for hundreds and hundreds of students. Now, if you want to see some st student success, click on my highlights. Success number four, there's hundreds to read through. Success number three, we've had them made over 350 different five-star reviews and people absolutely loving the program. So if you want to be next and want to be on my close friends list, shoot me a DM. Right now I have it shut. 
um, so I can give everyone enough attention, but I'm going to be opening signups back up at the beginning of the year. So if you want to be first on the list, make sure you DM me to get on today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.